And new tonight at 6, with spring in the air, a variety of animals are active once again, and some are more welcome than others. News 19's Crystal Flintrip spoke with an expert about what to do if you find a bat in your building. That's right, and while they may be unwelcome guests, they are beneficial to the environment. I spoke with Orkin entomologist Ian Williams. He says bats mostly find their way inside houses or apartments in the winter or closer to the summer months when insect activity picks up. Williams says bats can squeeze into spaces smaller than a pencil eraser, and once they're in size, they can cause quite a stink. They're going to be leaving their droppings, which we refer to as guano, and that can attract some other insect pests, but it also has a significant odor associated with it. Uh, it has acidic quality, so it can damage parts of, of the home. But also, most people don't know that bats, like many wildlife, can bring in ectoparasites. William says if there's a bat roosting on a wall or object, to gently place a container over the bat and slide something behind it to capture it, and then try to release it outside near a tree, pre preferably at dusk or after dark. And tonight at 10, we'll hear from someone who has encountered bat problems in their house many times. All right, thank you, Crystal. And bats are protected species in both Minnesota and Wisconsin, meaning it's illegal to kill them, which is why it's recommended that you contact a professional.